Hi, I'm back again. And as you can see, I have twice as many singing bowls as I did um, a little over a week ago. And if you watched my uh, Amazon Prime unboxing video, you saw me open and be surprised by a set of seven rainbow uh, hued singing bowls instead of the white crystal ones that I had ordered. And so I've had the, uh, so what happened? I ordered this set of singing bowls for Amazon Prime Days um, on a Monday. They arrived on Wednesday, pretty amazing. Um, in considering it was Prime Days and you know how shipping and things are going right now. So uh, pleasantly surprised, excited to open and a bit um, surprised to find the colored bowls instead of the white bowls. So um, I was happy to keep the colored bowls, but um, if I had to, but I, I really like the aesthetic of the, the white bowls. Uh, and so I contacted the seller through Amazon and told them what happened and showed them a photo of what I received and, you know, did all the due diligence uh, and, you know, double check that I did order the white ones, that, that it wasn't my mistake that I didn't hit the wrong button when I ordered. And they were very kind to say, don't worry about it. We'll ship out the ones you ordered. And I wasn't sure if they were shipping from overseas or if they were coming from the Amazon Fulfillment Center, Distribution Center, Warehouse, what have you. So, um, cause they didn't really provide me like a shipping tracking number or anything like that. So I, I checked with them and, and they're like, oh yeah, yeah, they're already on their way. They should get to you in, uh, by the weekend, which I was very happy, excited about. And then yesterday, my husband comes in from the mail and we, we don't have a long driveway, we have a very steep driveway. And um, he came in and he said, there, there's, I, I, there's a big box up here for you. It was down at the end of the driveway by the mailbox. Like, and also it's where our garbage cans are. Uh, thankfully it wasn't recycling day and the recycling uh, pickup guys thought that that big cardboard box was just garbage because that would have been something to explain to uh, Amazon. So he carried it in and uh, I was excited. I'm like, oh, it's my bowls. So I unpacked the bowls yesterday, took them to my yoga class this morning and played them and they're very nice. But I thought it would be, um, there would have been under no other circumstances that I would have been able to have both sets <laughs> in my possession if this um, situation hadn't happened the way it did. So, um, I thought it would be, if you're a person who might be considering ordering a set of these bowls uh, to, sh to compare and contrast, if there's differences between the colored set and the white set, I mean, obviously, other than the obvious differences, my understanding are they are tuned the same. Um, I should get a tape measure out to let, I know that the sizes aren't all quite one-to-one -one, because the white bowl set has two seven inch bowls i believe yes this this one and this one are both seven inch bowls but this one is tuned to b and this is tuned to g and as you can see there one is taller than the other and yeah i haven't i haven't done this yet this is not live but uh i'm, I'm just just recording it as, as I do this. So I've got them all set out in their um, note order. So I'll play each. It's not a full scale because it's only seven notes, but them in order. So this is the white set. one 
and then I'll do the singing I'll make them good so here are the largest bowl which is a C I don't, they do come when they're packed they come each individual bowl is wrapped in plastic and then put in the carrying cases um, and I'll get to the carrying cases in a second and the way they were packaged in a second um, and on those plastic bags are stickers with the measurement and the note um, on most of them, not all of them. So I did have to refer back to the listing. And of course I don't have that in front of me right now of which what there was to be supposed to be tuned to. So this I believe is C. And that's the largest bowl. Um, we'll do measurements when I'm done here. Okay, this is D. from here this F bowl is bigger around the diameter of it is bigger than the green bowl but between these two sets um, tuning wise they do a very good job they're they're definitely both sets are tuned the same and that is one of the really um, if you're doing sound work and you and you want to do a little more musical sound work um, having that no, knowing what note they are and what tuning um, frequency that they're if it's 432 or, or the other which I'm Brian can't say 440 440 traditional tuning um, will help you be able to, you know, work with other musicians and, you know, kind of, you could do some um, songs, if you will, more, or more, more of a melodic um, playing. somewhere when my kids were taking music lessons and things but I don't know where it is and I know there's apps on your cell phone that you can also check the tuning so I cannot at this moment attest to how accurate the tuning is as to what they say it is but um, I can say that they both match so that um, is a factor you don't have to consider if you're choosing between the two sets so um, let's get out a tape measure this big white one the largest white one is marked as a 12 inch bowl and and it is by the side i don't remember what they said the uh the red one and the white one are are exactly the same it's approximately nine and a half inches from the floor to the rim now it's on the little um rubber gasket which is only you know not even a half inch uh looks like the red one might be a half inch shorter not that I don't think that's going to make a difference in the scheme of things. Okay, the D bowl is, and it's easier if I just do it at one here. Outer edge to outer edge is 11 inches, which is what they say it is. And that's what they say the orange one is, and it is. These look very comparable to me, exactly the same. Nine inches tall to the floor, and eh, this one might be a skosh, eight and a half. 
So that's the, the slight difference there. Okay, the E bowl is a 10 inch. <laughs> and the yellow bowl, which is supposed to be the same. Last thing I want to do is record myself getting uh, stabbed to death, also 10, by um, <laughs> falling into a pile of crystal bowls. That looks like it's seven and a half inches. Oop, there's my fall. And I think this one's slightly taller. No, it's the exact same. So your yellow bowl, your um, E bowl, solar plexus chakra bowl is, those are both identical. Okay, the green bowl, and these are F. This one is nine. All right, I think it's easier if I just get up on my feet and walk around. Safer too. And the F, this is also nine. I think this one's gonna be taller. Eight inches. Nope, exactly the same. Okay. So this blue one. Wait, I mean, yeah, this is the next one. Is also eh, it's actually about eight and a half. No, sorry, take that back. Seven and a half. And this one is seven, I believe. Yes, so this, that's a little wider, but it's also taller. I don't really know that these measurements are gonna make a huge difference in the scheme of things. Um, five and a half, what did I just say? This one was six and a half. So it's a little taller, slightly wider, but the same note, right? Yep. Okay, last four. I can tell from up here, this indigo one, which is one of my favorites, is um, going to be, uh, it's eight inches. And this is, oh, eight inches. So they are the same, but, okay, let's see height wise. A rigid measuring tape would probably work a little better. It's uh, six and a half off the floor, and this one is six. Slight difference. This is six inches tall, or six inches wide, six and a half inches tall. This is seven inches wide, and six and a half inches high off the floor. So, I didn't write those down. They don't really matter to me. <laughs> but if they matter to you, now you know. So, let's do a um, rim sing on these. I don't have enough space behind me to scoot back, but this is the only place I could put everything up. So, oh, okay. At least I have pants on today. Last time I didn't have pants on. Okay. So since we know that they're all tuned the same, I'm just going to do the room sing on the white bowls because, yeah. And uh, comment below if you want to hear the sound of any of the colored bowls. I really like that indigo one. The second one in the uh, would be the uh, third eye chakra. That's a but maybe it's because my third eye needs a little tuning up. I don't know, but that one I really really like the sound of. So if I well we'll get to the, the next thing. Okay, one thing at a time, Beth Ann. One thing at a time. Same as the G, the green bowl, 
This is the F. It is possible. Uh, I guess I'll try it with just the mallet and the uh, striker to play two bowls at once. Jericho kind of thing and the walls may come to crumbling down um, you I have read of instances of the vibration if you get too many bowl, uh, bowls close together crystal bowls together and they're all vibrating you can uh, have one shatter you know like those old Memorex um, uh, commercials if you're old like me and you remember the opera singer was it Beverly Sills or oh, I don't know which opera singer it was um, you know hitting high note and the crystal goblet shattering that can happen with your crystal bowls um, if you you know so I would not sit here and bing bing boom bong and get them all going all at once because I wouldn't want that to happen so let me tell you about um, just the the situation here I now have the set that I originally ordered at the price that I originally ordered I also had this beautiful rainbow set um, and what they told me was to just pack up the rainbow set and keep it in your house. If we sell it, we will send you, we will ask you to ship it to the new to new buyer and we'll send you the shipping. Now, I don't know if that means I'll just pay the shipping and, you know, tell me to take it to, Am to UPS and ship it. Um, I think actually it was delivered, postal service. So, um... I don't know. There, there's no timeline. There's that's the furthest instruction I was given. So um, I think the best ethical thing that I mean, I fully intend that when that happens, if that happens, if I get a message from the the seller of these bowls to um, you know they've got somebody else that wants the rainbow set and to send them on, I will definitely do that. Um, because that's what I agreed to, and they're not mine. I didn't pay for those. But it wasn't my mistake that they came to me either. So there could be ethical arguments on either either end. Um, uh, but they did not give me any time timeline. And if it's a year from now or two years from now, and um, I still 
have them in my possession, it might even be less time than that, uh, then they may find a new home. I don't know. Or they to go to the, the studio where I teach and we have a, a second set of bowls. Um, it might be the universe just rewarding me <coughs> um, because before I bought these, I, I, and since I bought these, part of my practice that I've been really working on right now uh, in my personal practice is, a, is a, an abundance practice, a practice for abundance and not just material wealth or material goods, um, but just abundance in general and just trusting that the universe will provide for me what I need when I need it and sometimes in unexpected forms. And I've been wanting to add crystal singing bowls to my um, practice and to my offerings for quite a while. And I had the money. I've been saving the money and I wanted to do it. And uh, I just was holding on. I was, you know, there's a little fear there. Like, well, if I spend this money, what if I need it for something else? What if, you know, what if, what if, what if? All the like uncertainty. And um, I finally, you know, working through the process that I'm working through, uh, decided that, you know, to pull the trigger on them and get them. And so there's a part of me that says, well, the, the, the universe rewarded you for your trust in the abundance. And uh, so here we are. <coughs> um, we'll see how it pans out. I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm not taking offers on buying them from you right now because in my, in my mind right now, the rainbow set does not belong to me. It is in my care, it is in my possession, but it is not mine. What is possession anyway? What, what is ownership? But, um, so I'm going to pack it back up, keep it here. Um, if I am to, if I end up ultimately keeping them, I may mix and match. I really like that cobalt blue one. I kind of like the green one. Um, these, some of these, they're kind of growing on me, but um, I don't know. I think the other modification, slight modification I'm going to make to the white ones is I do have my Cricut machine where I can do the permanent vinyl. And, we've, and they do sell sets, you know, that have the chakra symbols and the colors uh, on the bottom. And those are pretty, uh, you know, they were under consideration as well. And, uh, but I think I'm going to do something similar to that, not exactly that, with my Cricut, with the vinyl. And uh, so I, if nothing else, just something prettier than just a post-it note or a piece of tape saying 12 inches C, 11 inches D. Something, I don't know, something out of vinyl that I can just put on the bottom here. And uh, these are clear enough that I can almost, well, no, the bottom is textured, so I don't think the uh, vinyl would stick permanently to the bottom. Surprise, surprise! There's already black pet hair inside these bowls. I don't know if it's Miss Lilith up here or if it's uh, my dog, but one of the two. The last note about the packing, and this is, comes in with the, um, if I have to send the rainbow ones back. They, the cases are almost identical. I'm not gonna pull them out. I'm going to get those, look at those a little closer. The size of the cases and the inserts. I'll show you those. I didn't show you or you didn't see the other. Um, this is the, there's, each set comes in with two cases like this. One's slightly bigger than the other because the biggest bowl is slightly bigger than the second biggest bowl. And then they have these foam and nylon inserts. So this smaller case holds three bowls, the like that's the other thing I need to like put a little note inside the lid of these going 11 inch 8 inch 7 inch or whatever so that I know when I'm packing them back up again which ones go inside which it's pretty obvious when you're doing it um but uh just in case so back to the case so that's the cases they're 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 well padded the lid is padded they've got little pockets all that jazz um there is a slight difference in the fabric. So um, I think it's well within my rights to decide which fabric, which slight dif slightly different shade of purple that is I prefer and which fabric, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna look at them. I, I feel like the, oh, look at, 
Oh, that's from yoga today. <laughs> Somebody in, uh, in the class before me spilled their water on the floor in the yoga studio and it's like a water spot in the bottom here, but it's just, it's just from that. So it's not a big deal. Nothing from the manufacturer. So anyway, um, and decide which set of storage bags I want uh, to keep. So I guess before I pack them up, that'll be my next decision to make. So anyway, um, just, just a little quick follow up. Um, if you're considering a set of these bowls, I will put the links for both bowls, uh, both sets in um, the description so that if you want to order, I do get a slight uh, affiliate um, commission if you do that. And, and I do appreciate that. Um, and um, if you have any other questions, if you, um, you know, if, if there's something else about sound healing or the bowls and things, um, I keep my metal, my, I've kept my metal set of um, Tibetan bowls at the yoga studio because instead of carrying it back and forth because it's, they're so heavy. Um, but at some point I'm either going to stay after class and, uh, share those with you or bring them home and I can do a comparison of them. I don't know if that particular set is still available um, or not because it's been a number of years since I bought that, but just so you can get an idea. I don't know what the tuning is on that set. Uh, I didn't know enough to ask. It's one of those things I didn't know before when I got them. So I can't uh, answer that question unless I get a tuner and figure it out myself. So. Um, I guess that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this and I uh, hope it maybe gave you some insight on um, different crystal bowls. This is, I think this is a great starter set. Now it's not an inexpensive set. If I remember correctly, the full price, and again, the link will be in the description so you can check, you can confirm this. Um, and I can't, even if I am right of what they were when I ordered mine, they, they can always change. But my, my, what I believe was the rainbow ones were about $599, uh, $599 for the full set of rainbow ones. And the white ones, I think I bought them for $511 and some odd change uh, with the uh, Prime Day discount. So I want to say they were $550, $560, somewhere in that, you know, neighborhood. Uh, just look slightly, you know, slightly less than the rainbow ones. So, uh, but tone wise, carrier wise, everything else, I mean, again, there's slight measurement differences, but I think that's all just so that they all nest or look good. I don't know. I don't know how they decide, I don't know. but anyway, so there you have it. Thank you so much for uh, sticking with me. And, um, so I, again, am back with Spiral Path Healing Arts and SpiralPathHealingArts.com where I have a shop and I also offer, um, you can make book appointments with me for sound healing if you're in the greater Chattanooga area or going to be coming through the greater Chattanooga area and uh, would like to meet up and have a private sound bath or private sound and Reiki healing session. Um, I'll bring out all the bells, literally. Mm, whistles, not so much, but drums and uh, tuning forks and whatever you're, you need as an individual for your healing uh, journey on your healing journey, relaxation and regeneration. So um, I've enjoyed sharing this with you and I am so grateful to the universe for this abundance. So grateful and uh, am looking forward to being able to share it more and more with others. So uh, thank you again for joining me. Mwah.